Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. Like and subscribe. And let's get into it. God's chosen people are the only ones that can defeat God's chosen people. It's been tried and it's failed. It's not that we have a slave's mentality. The problem is we have failed to embrace who we are. We failed to embrace who we are. The problem is when you don't know who you are and you try to prove to people who you are and they know who you are, you end up competing against yourself. Let me repeat that. We are competing against ourselves to prove who we are to people who know who we are. This is why we are not getting along. We're trying to prove who we are. Until enough of us recognize who we are, embrace who we are, we will be caught in this maze of proving to the world we are to people who know who we are. In essence, we're overdoing things, competing with each other instead of embracing each other, arguing with each other instead of working with each other. We're in a cycle of trying to prove something that we don't have to prove. I mean, when you are number one in everything you do, as a people, basically, it's easy to get caught up into competing with each other. And that's a mistake. Instead of competing with each other, we're supposed to be working together. I don't know why it is with us. I don't know why it is with us that it is so easy to divide us. We don't have a slave mentality, but we, but it's and that's not, and that's not what divides us. We're trying to prove who we are, and that's not necessary. We prove it in music. We prove, we prove it in sports, science, medicine consistently consistently we need to work together so the question is how do we start working together the first thing we have to do is take care of those who have an inferiority complex some of us have an inferiority complex, so maybe you could call that inferiority complex a slave mentality. That's something we're going to have to figure out. But one thing we've got to do is stop trying to please. Stop trying to please. All I basically see is us arguing on TV looking for content outside of our talent we are looking for content outside of our talent every little mistake we make we chastise each other for it even if it's not a mistake we scrutinize each other in front of people that aren't as professional as we are. We scrutinize ourselves in front of people who wish they were as good as we are. It makes no sense. 
We need to stop, look around with our minds, look around, look around with our minds and address the situation. The entire planet, the entire planet is where it is because of us. And everyone knows that but us. The entire planet is where it is because of us. And everyone knows that but us. Why is that? Is it because we're not giving the credit we deserve in the history books? Probably so. That, that, that probably has a lot to do with it. We've accepted second-class citizenship because we don't understand who we are collectively. We fail to realize we're competing against ourselves. We fail to realize that we are complete, we're competing against ourselves. <laughs> We've been talked out of roles of leadership. And what I mean that we've been talked out, I, it's, it's more like we've been, our minds have been manipulated out of taking the top spots. We need to realize that we are Hebrew Israelites and embrace that. And until we brace, embrace the fact that we are Hebrew Israelites, we're always going to be a step a step behind. Deuteronomy 28. Read it. Read it. We are God's chosen people. But you don't even have to read it when you can see it. You can see it in boxing, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, whatever the sport, science, mathematics, medicine. Chemistry. We had people inventing machines when they were in slavery. We have children in Africa that can take a textbook and build a windmill without a teacher assisting them and explaining things. We've got to embrace who we are. The only one that can defeat us is us. The Civil War was a physical war and we freed ourselves. Civil rights was a war and we did it nonviolently and made great gains and were falling back. This has got to be a spiritual war, a spiritual war to end all wars, a spiritual war to end all wars. And how do you do that? By a recognition of who we are. The Bible tells us who we are. The prophecies in the Bible are coming true. And that's why you hear some Caucasian peoples asking black people to, to save the world. And all we have to do to save the world is to embrace who we are. It's not like everyone doesn't know who we are. When people imitate you, they do so because they know who you are. When people ask you questions, it's because they know who you are. When a young black man in Africa creates an invention and they, and they invite him to MIT to milk his brains because they know who you are. Our problem is not a slave mentality. It's the fact that we don't know who we are. And some of us, frankly, are afraid to be who we are. Some of us are afraid to be who we are. We're not afraid of Caucasians. We are afraid of who we are. We are afraid of being who we are. We don't trust ourselves. 
we built this world and we don't trust ourselves. We've got to embrace ourselves and trust ourselves so that we can be who we are. And then, and only then can we straighten out the world. But once we embrace who we are, all we have to do, come up with a plan, straighten it all out. And it's as simple as that. So uh, like and subscribe and um, I'll see you all later on. God bless.